Fiddler's Green, it's Channel 93.3, I am Nerf, and we are here at Big Gig with Jimmy Eats World. How are you guys doing? Woo! We're doing good, how are you? I'm great, like Travis Tritt says, man, it's a great day to be alive. You know, absolutely. Word. Uh, so, <laughs> so now, um, like I wanted to ask you about uh, the new song, Something Loud, it is so good, I love it. Oh, thanks. And it's like, thanks. and it's uh, like, it's got a cool texture to it too. It's like really rocking. Like, I mean, is that indicative of things to come? Is this a new direction to kind of like turn it up a notch? No, it's kind of like, I think uh, as much as we try to explore things like musically, we, we're we still just a guitar band, a guitar rock band. That's kind of like the, the core of us. Well, it's always been oh, us. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a part of us that will always identify as the 14 year old heavy metal kid. So that's gonna always be there what, what we do. That's cool. This That's is just cool. sort of like leaning into that, I guess, yeah. more. Well, uh, speaking of when you were 14-year-old kids and stuff, like uh, uh, I heard an interview with Nate Roos, and he was like talking about like his influences coming up and stuff, and he's like, and Jimmy Eat World was like the the like the where everybody wanted to be you know it's like you guys were like huge influence on him and like and like you know, know he wouldn't stop following us around like back in the day <laughs> it's kind of creepy like, even. yeah yeah, yeah it was, was no like, fun for <laughs> us <laughs> yeah no um but that that's cool now what bands were influencing you guys in the scene in arizona because like you know i kind of feel like I, like most people could name like bands starting with you guys from arizona right mm -hmm. like uh, before you who was there I mean, I think like the greater Arizona, I guess more punk scene, like uh, Hor Horace Pinker was a band that was really big when we Horace were Pinker. just starting. Uh, JFA was from Tucson. I didn't know JFA was from yeah, Tucson. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. There's Malignus, that. Malignus Youth is another like crazy. Uh, oh, awesome. I'll have to look them up. Stump me on that one. That's great. Now, I mean, did you play gigs with these guys? Or did you like uh, get to open for them and stuff? Or no, they were they were sort of like. They were a little bit older than us and kind of like are already kind of branching out. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was difficult. It was difficult to kind of. You guys I mean, had to blaze a trail, really. Uh, yeah, a little bit, I guess. I mean, it's Arizona is sort of, um, I guess everyone has this complaint about their scene. It's, there's a lot of people that are really passionate, doing good work, but it's very difficult to get the uh, support to kind of break out mm. from there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that for sure. It's and it's a little remote, like kind of like Seattle. You know, they always said it's like nobody came up here. You know, it's like a, in a way. I mean, like you'd think that like between Texas and California, you know, that like there'd always be bands to play with. Uh, but like uh, you know, but yeah, like you said, it's like a, a kind of little isolated, maybe. Yeah, there was no, there was bands to play with. Most of the like the Southern California bands would have a, they'd have to stop in Phoenix, right? If they wanted to go east, yeah. So a lot sure. of like the the southern like like San Diego bands. San Diego, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. we didn't we didn't really get a chance to make friends with a lot of people until we started touring ourselves. But, right. Right. Um, well, that's cool. Well, yeah. all right. So fast forward, you know, many many years uh, into the future. How how do you guys feel about like some like extreme validation right now? Like, I, like, I, do you embarrass from validation? Do, like, I, you know, like when somebody says something like really positive about you, or you're like, I'm like, shut up, or do you guys like, oh, hey, bring it on. All right, okay. Faces turn red. So now this, I'm gonna get a little nerdy for a second, <laughs> but we do these big music tests, and one of them is called an OMT, and we had 600 songs in it, 600 songs, and these are all songs we played, and the number one song, and this is only a couple years ago, uh, was the middle, and like, oh and wow, like the best song we play according to i don't know a couple hundred people was you guys' song huh That's cool. now i mean like Thank and this, this is in mesa arizona you know there's not you guys aren't hometown boys you're <laughs> like this is like you know denver colorado it's still southwest but still it's not the same town it's like you know it's another part of the world and uh, and it is a like a kind of a permanent fixture in music culture now i mean how awesome is that it's fantastic. Yeah, it I mean, you guys good. take a lot of stock of things like that. Like that, it's like we will probably never stop playing the middle. You know, it's it's a good feeling for sure. I mean, you don't when you make something, you don't set out to make it for the reason that you know everyone will love this. I mean, you're right. going to make something crappy if you do that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. There's totally. nothing more of a turnoff than it's forced. someone desperately chasing your approval. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's really just kind of luck that it turned out that way. We weren't trying to make something you know big yeah we were just did, amusing ourselves right right i mean do you remember the moment it was or like a, you know the session the writing session when you sat down to write that song or like first time you guys played it together in practice or, or 
you remember the early days of that song? I remember, I remember thinking it was sort of, it was, it, there was nothing wrong with it. <laughs> but it wasn't, sure. but it wasn't like this, this amazing thing we felt, I think. Yeah. It, there's, there's a, it kind of messes with your head a little bit if you're working on something and it feels like. That's the one. A, a That's the one. Like a, yeah. Well, it feels like um, if you're if you're struggling to work on something, it feels like you're 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 really trying to crack a code and really just find the thing that makes it work. Right. And that that kind of has more weight to it. And middle gotcha. is a song. Middle was a song that sort of just okay, yeah, cool. Kinda, yeah, it sort of happened. That's awesome. So in our heads, there was like other songs that were more difficult to work on to write. Yeah. That it was just wasn't. It was completely, we were oblivious. It was that like it too was, easy to be significant? Yeah, yeah. In your mind's in? Yeah, yeah I was like, yeah, but that's, I, yeah, I that's remember, fine. I, I remember when I heard like the demo of that, mm. thinking like, this could be like a, a good song. It was just, it's hard because um, at the time when we were writing the songs for Bleed American and getting ready to make it, we didn't have a label, we didn't have a manager. We had just gotten dropped from our, our Capitol Records dropped us. So we were like, in our minds, we were nothing. No song we would have written at that point in time. In our minds, be like, "Oh, this is going to be a hit," because we don't even have a label. We don't have anything to help us get you're it. Just, get you're to just that fighting point. your way back. Yeah, that, yeah. So yeah. we're we did kind of feel like, yeah, we're trying to fight our way back into the game, and so it was like hard for us in the headspace to think, "Oh, this could be like really popular," because at that point, we'd never really done anything that was super popular. So. Right. Right. Wow. That's that's crazy to think back to those days. That's amazing. Now, um, speaking of uh, uh, current times and, and like um, uh, you're like. Uh, something loud song. It's uh, I haven't heard about album plans and stuff like that. What's uh, what is something loud part of uh, an album that's going to be coming out? Or Maybe. What are we? What's the uh, what's the plan from here? For the moment, we're just trying to release music with how people are consuming music, which is less and less by with an album as the main thing. Yeah. You no, know, it's true. So I, I don't know. I mean. Maybe it ends up on an album later on, but but for right now, that's kind of what we're shooting for. Gotcha. Just, just, the single's great. Let's yeah, it I mean, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the Wild West. You know, you can do whatever you want. That's so true. That's so true. And like, when, here's a post-pandemic question for you. When did you write this song? Within the last year, oh, it, okay. started, it started coming together. So it wasn't like you were sitting in the basement, unable to go outside? It wasn't a 2020 song? No, no. I mean, we finished it pretty close to uh, recording it and, and then putting it out. Gotcha. That's great. That's, so sort, of a fun, that's sort of a fun thing. Like you could, I'm excited about the song we just did. Cool. Let's put it out. Dude. You can. I know. You know, it's great. I know. You can do it. Anybody can do it. In fun fact, fact, everybody should. Yeah, like, go start a band. Everybody. We you recorded know? that song on the day of the Super Bowl, I remember, because I was watching the ah. Super Bowl on the iPad by my drum kit because these guys had the bright idea of doing a recording session during the Super Bowl. So. <laughs> like, like, come on, guys. Some people do care about sports. Some people actually like, care about sports. Let's do this. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, well, right on. Well, I am so glad you guys are here. I, I can't wait to see your set. It's like, uh, you know, it's one of those. Oh, man. Uh, you guys are one of those bands where you get into the, the, the music and, like, I know every one of these songs, you know? It's uh, going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for having yeah, us. And thank you so much it. for playing the song, man. We really appreciate your yeah, guys' support. Thank you. It's our pleasure, absolutely. We are at Big Gig. This is Jimmy E. World. And everybody, make some noise when they take the stage. <laughs> 